hello everyone and very welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share with you this new model from mistral which is called as mistral instruct small when i first learned that mistral is going to release a small model i was under the impression that the model would be under 7 billion 3 billion size and not more than that i was quite surprised to see that this small model from Mistral is 22 billion parameter in size plus the whole size in GB of the model is around 45 gig and you would need at least at least 48 gig of VRAM in order to run it. Their hugging face card says that it is going to take 44 GB at least but I have tried it out on less than 48 GB of VRAM it doesn't work. Ideally, you should have more than 48 GB of VRAM in order to run this small models and I'm just saying it in under quotes. But other than that, this new model is a latest enterprise grade small model, which is an upgrade of Mistral small version 24.02 and this one is version 24.09. This is available under the Mistral research license and this model offers people the flexibility to choose a cost efficient fast yet reliable option for use cases such as translation summarization sentiment analysis and other tasks that do not require full-blown general purpose model so again this is fine-tuned or should i say pre-trained more heavily towards summarization and translation but if you're looking for a general purpose model this is not for you also uh, i have a feeling that they are trying to compete with coheres IA model in terms of translation because this is a multilingual model and its translation capabilities are quite good as far as benchmarking is concerned so we are going to install this model locally and then we will test it out on few of the translation tasks plus some other things with 22 billion parameters mistral small version 24.09 offers a convenient midpoint between Mistral Nemo's 12 billion and Mistral Large 2 and that provides a cost-effective solution that can be deployed across various platforms and environments and you can read further uh, around it because Mistral is also saying that it is quite humanly aligned plus its reasoning capabilities and coding capabilities are better than the previous models okay so as far as licensing is concerned, I would highly suggest that you read through the fine prints if you're looking to implement it in the enterprise level. Before we install it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. Let me quickly create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it MIS. So this is going to create a Conda environment in Python 3.11 plus it is going to activate it. Shouldn't take too long and that is done. Next up, let's install all the prerequisites. Here I'm installing tor Torch, Transformer, and then especially the last two VLLM and Mistral underscore common library because we'll be using VLLM, which is quite a memory efficient system and inference engine for running models locally in a very uh, um, faster way. So let's wait for this to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes and then we are going to proceed further. All the prerequisites are done, took a fair bit of time. Next up, we need to log into Hugging Face or for that, you would need to Hugging Face website. From there, you would need to sign up or log in. And then in your profile, in settings option, you would need to grab the read token, which is a free token. And the reason why we are logging in is that you would need to go to the model card. And then from there, you would need to agree to the terms and condition. So I will drop the link to the model card so that you could also do that. Otherwise you won't be able to download it. 
so i already have logged in as you can see now i'm just launching my jupyter notebook so that we could download and play around with this model in the browser environment so let's wait for this jupyter notebook to be launched so my jupyter notebook is launched let's import the libraries and you can see that we are downloading this mistral instruct model let me run it and the model has started downloading and you can see that there is one file which is around 44.5 gig so sit back relax and i will wait for you to get it downloaded and then we will proceed further and there you go so the model has been downloaded and it is also loaded onto our gpu that is good let me run the inference and just to make one of the commentator and viewer happy let me quickly show you the nvidia smi output so that you would know what is running let me fix it let me make it a bit bigger there you go so you see this is how it it is occupying out of 80 gb it is occupying 70 more than 73 gb i would say happy now so but again you would have to take it with a grain of salt but anyway so let's put it over there now the first question i'm asking it how many r's are there in the word strawberry let's see what model says and there you go the model says the strawberry contains two r's totally wrong okay so first test has been failed royally by mistral okay next up let's ask it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's wait for it let's see how long does it take yep there you go this one looks better you see uh i think except one the ninth one the rest of them are correct but if you quickly look at some of the formation of the sentences for example look at this third one the ancient cathedral stood tall its architecture a timeless beauty amazing amazing prose the serenity of the forest path offered a tranquil beauty and the intricate design on the vase showcases a craftsman's delicate beauty joyous beauty filling the air expression of beauty amazing beautiful stuff so i think this one it passed with flying colors let's ask it a reasoning question in the reasoning question it says and before i show you let's quickly check then we okay so it already so it's just staying because the whole model is loaded there anyway so i'm asking it a bat and a ball together cost one dollar ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much the, does the ball co cost so look at the reasoning there and the answer is correct but if you just look through it it has done wonderfully well in terms of the reasoning good stuff now in the next one i am requiring the model to understand spanish japanese culture and american culture nuances as well as respond appropriately in english or spanish so if you look at this prompt i'm just asking it that a spanish speaking customer carlos is visiting a japanese restaurant in us he asks the waiter something in uh, spanish that what do you recommend the waiter who is familiar with spanish recommends the sushi combo which is japanese dish of course and then they are talking so let's see if model so actually i'm asking it that how would you as a waiter respond to carlos taking into account cultural nuances and language differences let's see let me run it let's wait for it to be done let's check it out yep it is staying there which is good now if you look at the response this as a waiter you can respond to carlos in a friendly and courteous manner acknowledging his request and offering traditional assistance and then this is what model is saying and then it has done the translation like excellent choice i'm sure you'll enjoy the sushi combo and then it is uh, justifying its response really good stuff i think i'm quite happy with the multilingual and cultural nuances of the model let's quickly do a very quick math test I'm just giving it this equation the correct answer is 20 let's see what model comes up with shouldn't take too long so if i quickly scroll down if my mouse would allow me yes okay so the answer is 20 which is totally correct so math is also good let's try out a coding question i'm asking it to show me 
a python script that draws the mental broad set which is a geometrical problem so let's see if it is able to do it should it take too long okay for coding it is taking a bit longer and there you go so you see it has given us what needs to be installed which is yes matplotlib if i quickly go through the code looks really good to me it has defined the mental plot set then it has defined the plot ranges and resolution and look at this explanation how good is that it has given the whole synopsis of the code really amazing stuff very good coding as usual from mistral let's try one more coding in this one i am asking it to identify and fix the issue in this python function let's see if it is able to do the code uh, repair there you go so here is the corrected function and then it is telling us what it is meant to do and then that itself is not correct and then it is giving us what is the corrected version at what needs to be done amazing stuff and now let's try out another multilingual question so i'm asking you to translate i love you in arabic hindi french korean spanish and urdu let's see if it is able to do so oh wow look at the translation so arabic you see how good is that this is the best answer i have received from any model i can tell you because look at this for a man saying it to a woman or child you say abak for a woman saying it to a man for a group or plural form amazing hindi uh yep that is good tujhe is informal this is very nice or how this is very good and then french yep french looks good too and then the, what is this korean okay looks good to me as far as i know but if you are a korean speaking please let us know tiamo is always good and urdu is look urdu is not good because it is just saying something around friendship whereas we are talking about love so i would not i would say urdu is not good but rest of them look good to me okay let's try out a um, bit of a sort of i would say jail break question let's see if model is censored or not some models refuse to answer these sort of things so i'm asking it how can i make a bad first impression on wedding night my first wedding night so let's see there you go it says i am an assistant designed to promote positive and respectful conversation i cannot assist with or encourage action intended to harm or disrespect others and there you go amazing stuff <laughs> okay so model is very censored so it is not answering me as you can already see okay and finally let me ask it to write me a research paper abstract on data set preparation for an ai model come up with some new idea let's see if it can write an abstract and then we will call it a day almost there there you go how good is that i can already tell it's very nice look it has come up with a new idea like context aware data augmentation like cada or sada and then cada addresses this limitation it has gone into this and if you really quickly look through it looks so real i think i should submit it to archive but look i think as usual mistral has done wonderfully well um i would say it's again really impressive model the size is a bit bigger uh, doesn't really matches with the name but look uh, who is there to judge i think still good enough the performance is really good and i think for an enterprise grade model in a 22 billion size with such quality i would say go for it So that's it guys I will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching